Let's take off towards the Louvre, this former royal palace, which is now the most visited museum in the world, with 10 million visitors per year. At down above the Seine, nature will still fully hold its rights. Though not universally acclaimed at its construction in 1980, the Louvre Pyramid now is one of the Parisian symbols housing the entry to the museum as well as its commercial gallery. The construction of the Louvre is decided at the Oscar of Paris at the end of the 12th century, first at the defensive castle. It then was much more spread out than it is now. With the development of the city, the castle lost its defensive role to become a royal residence. The symbolic power aura, the Tuileries, was destroyed during the Empire Revolution at the end of the 19th century. We are now cruising through the north aisle of the Louvre towards the Conseil d'État. This institution, pillar of the French democracy, advises the government to prepare the law projects and also settles the administration's disputes. We can spot the Comédie Française immediately left of the Conseil d'État, the most famous French theatre. To our left is the Brasserie du Louvre, a gastronomic restaurant, whose chef is the famous Paul Bocuse. Now facing the Comédie Française Theatre, we are going to round it to admire the art piece of the Deux Plateau in the honor yard of the Palais Royal. Commonly called Colonne du Buren by the name of the artist Daniel Buren, this art piece struggled to emerge. Some saw it as a denaturation of the solemnity of the place. The construction has been achieved in 1986 the same year the Ministry of Finance left its offices in the Louvre lacking space. This yard is opened to the public as you can see and is damaging quickly as the construction was cheaply done and due to the influx of visitors. This causes disturbances for the Comédie Française, which has practice rooms just below, as water is infiltrating through the ground. Now, let's take some hate for game to admire this area from above and all the famous Parisian monuments. From Montmartre to the Eiffel Tower, through the Montparnasse Tower, 